Hello and welcome back to Nomoria, where we last left off, we had just defeated a great opponent, an ogre over here, the blood is everywhere, that's actually where the ogre exploded, as you can see, there is no ogre corpse, it was certainly not carted off, it just exploded, everywhere, with the force of our victory, and there's blood over here as well, yep, our gnomes are awesome. And, hopefully, in this episode, we're going to get a few more. So, I'm going to keep an eye out. You guys are running very low on weapons there. We need to get you more. Right. So, whilst we're waiting to see if we get any people over... Oh, where on earth did that corpse come from? Did you take it to bed with... Hang on a second. Damn it, I don't know which one it was. I'm not going to say anything this time, but I believe there were some shenanigans afoot. Unsavory shenanigans. There will be no cadavers in the bedrooms. <sighs> These gnomes. Gotta keep close watch on them. Right, let's continue. Now, we're waiting on a few things to get this distillery up and running. Once we've got that... Oh, excellent. You've finished it. Well done. Chop, chop. Someone get down here. I want this distillery built. Do it now. Right, we've got that. Okay, that's nice. Good, good. One thing I wouldn't mind having from our stonemason, doors. Now, some regular doors, I don't feel a, a, too big of an issue. Um, what am I currently doing with my carpenter? I'm making pine right now. Okay, that's fine. So, we're going to make... I'm just going to make this a little bit more specific. We want one pine hilted blade. Oh, it doesn't tell me. Damn. That's a shame. It would be nice if I could see that because I could, like, make. Oh, yeah, well, I only want knives. Though, I suppose we don't ever use, like, weaponized knives. <laughs> weaponized knives. That sounds so ridiculous. But we don't use knives in a combat role. So, I guess that should only ever be a pine knife anyway. So, uh,. Yeah, actually, I'll, I'll keep it like that. Because I may make some birch things for my weapons weapons. I don't know if the value of a weapon is going to affect it, how much damage it does. But I'm getting the impression that it might. So I want to keep that going. Now, as for doors. We can either make doors out of blocks. Granite blocks there. Or we can make doors here, I believe. Out of regular planks. Four planks or, I imagine, four blocks. Um, now, whilst... I would like some expensive doors for elsewhere. I'm actually going to ask you to make me some regular old doors. Four blocks. I want at least one door at any one time. And whilst you're doing that, I would like you to build some furniture. Let's get some doors going around our fort, shall we? Where are you? Where are you? Wooden door. Stone door, I mean. Right. Let's build you. We'll have one door there. One door there. We'll have some of these crossways. One there, there. Now this will give you some time to get this work done. Now, there's a reason why having this, having doors at these points, and why I left them with bottlenecks, essentially. It's because if there were ever a time where, heaven forbid, we got pushed back to our... our oh, two numbers are right. Excellent. Right, let's pause this. But if there were ever a time where we were pushed back into the bowels of our fort... You know, the, the, the fight was long and hard and we were losing. You know, things were going badly. And uh, we had been forced to retreat. Then what I would like to be able to say would happen is uh, I'd be given time to pull people back to make some sort of... make them ready in some sort of way. Give them orders to arm themselves, equip themselves, make them into a militia. Whatever might give them just enough chance to survive. And for that, I would would actually need to pull them right back. And, uh, right, we do kind of want all this brought in, but they're going to be pulling all these blaze seeds in for yonks, aren't they? Wait, what? It's on priority five, okay. Let's quickly set up another stockpile. Spoils of war. Not that this was really a war so much as it was 
a bunch of oh, tools. Oh, hang on a sec. Do these come under here? Like armor. Or armor. Not armor. Armor. Because it is spelt wrong. There is a U. What you people have against the U's, I will never know. Or understand. Right, we've got padding. Right, okay. Yeah, let's let's do that. Give this a priority of one, and hopefully our gnomes will go and bring that in. Now, the two nomads we've got. We are probably going to have to assign some of them to the military, but for now. Where are you, nomads? I'm going to make them builders, because I don't think we've got any actual builders around the fort otherwise, so I'll still be able to make them out. So we've got Faye and Kazi. You will be builders. You will just haul and build things. That's all I want from you. So hopefully you'll get to work now. Okay. Right, excellent. They're going to go out and they're going to bring things in. Fantastic. Get out there, we want all of this stuff brought in post haste. And then I can close the fort, because I've got a funny feeling we're going to have a mant invasion. As much as I would like to say we're not, I strongly believe we are. Oh, they're going to run out of room, aren't they? That is shit. Okay, well, we need some things built then. We would like some crates. At least a few. That should uh, help. I don't think there are too many crates needing to be built down here. I could be wrong. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm off. Damn it. Okay, well, fine. You guys continue doing your stuff and building your crates. Chop, chop. Oh, what? Haha! -ha! One is being built! Oh, I imagine it's because of the order in which I did things. Or is it? I don't know. Oh, it's because I've told this one to be made out of anything, whereas the others I've been, to been telling them to be made out of very specific things. So, hopefully, that's going to be a crate that doesn't have much in it. And as a result, all of these things can be piled in, because we've got a lot of bronze things there. Let's check this out. Fantastic. It's a poorly crafted crate made by Jack D. Well done, Jack D. Hero. You're our hero carpenter. Well done. You may well have just saved the lives of many gnomes and, in fact, prevented our fort from falling because I wasn't going to close the doors until we brought everything in, which could have meant that a mant attack would have caused everyone to die. Oh, doesn't look like armor can be stored, perhaps. That is unfortunate. That is quite unfortunate. Still, maybe padding can. I can only hope. This crate may be almost full. Yeah, it is almost full. Copper, hammer, are there any? Okay, more shield, battle axe. Okay, well, I mean, you've got giant 200 weapons in there, so why can't you stick armor in there, I wonder? But who cares? Just quickly go out, bring everything in so I can close the doors. Look at our beautiful military. They have leveled up. They've got many, many more awesome things. Oh, no, actually, it can be stored in crates. That's brilliant. Okay, now, guys, you've Oh, crap. Emu. Emu, please. Don't do this to me, Emu. Right, we need a pasture. That's what we need. There's going to be an area, and we want it to be a pasture. Where are you? We want this pasture for Emus. And the uh, grass is growing. Yay! We want this pasture for alpacas. Wow, there are a lot of alpacas in this fort. Now, with all of the new stuff that I can build, I will be building different things out there. It's going to be like fences and, and um, not picket fences, but just like, you know, rails and five bar gates and stuff like that. There aren't actual gate objects, though. There aren't gate tiles. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to have gates there. That is quite sad. But, okay, we've got you. Now, I do not want the males in here. I want one male. That is it. But yeah, as I was saying, there are no um, fences, unfortunately. Uh, sorry, gates, unfortunately. So, what we've got here, with the, the walls of this place, backing onto it, I guess, is probably the best style that we're going to have. 
Either that or I'm going to have to have like pillars, I don't know. I'll work something out, I guess, but uh, for the time being. I may replace some things, I don't know. We'll have a look into it. I may may uh, make this like a scent, the um, rancher's house, and then have uh, three of the walls bordering on small pastures. And what I re would really like is for you to go out and get that one. Ah, fantastic work. Well done. Have you got everything? Let's pause for a moment. There's still an axe out there. It's a copper felling axe as well. So it's a tool. Damn it. Right, I need tools. Let's go out there and get that copper wood felling axe. Do it now. For great justice. It's risky having the walls open like this right now because there could be anything out here. Okay, I think that's it. Is that the last thing? I think it is. Have we successfully avoided destruction? I think we may have, and it is all down to Jack D. For his prompt creation of the crates we needed. Well done, Jack D. Now, let's build a wall of bone. Of course, it has to be a bone. Where are you? Uh, bone wall. <laughs> We've got so many bones. Have we got goblin bones yet? Damn it. No, we still do not. Okay, honey badger bones it is. Oh, someone's already on this. Excellent work. What? No, get inside. Yes. Don't go out. Let me just... Oh, this bone. oh, that's probably the bone that's being used. Okay. All right, we're going to slow this thing down a little bit then. As you can see there, there's like different uh, tiles now. Things look differently. There's lots of different engravings you can make. And I will be doing a lot of that. Now that the option is open to me, I'm going to be fancifying a lot of things. You can see it there. So uh, it's these fancy stones give that kind of awesome marble kind of mosaic effect. I'm very keen on that um, but hmm. I'm thinking we want some torches in there now someone has suggested that I make this whole thing out of uh, bone nah, I'm not gonna I might make the the upper tower out of bone perhaps but I don't know I'm not even that sure of this wall it doesn't look that good, honestly. In my opinion, it doesn't look that good. I would prefer it if it looked a bit... I don't know. It just looks a bit higgledy-piggledy right now. So I may have to look into that. But I'm not going to worry about that for now. Let's get down here and look at the things that actually matter, like the still. Now, we're down to 505 drinks, but that's probably entirely milk. So, we are going to want... Uh, again, I don't know if they actually have any preference. No, no, no. But we're going to make 10 strawberry wines. Then we're going to make 10 apple wines. Then we're going to make 10 wheat beers. And once we've got all those three, I'm going to come back. We're going to make... Um, let's say... Oh, I'm not really sure. Let's make another 20 strawberry wines, 20 apple wines, and 20 wheat beers. So that gives us 90, and then I'll just say, uh, make whatever wine you want for the final 10. And that should keep everyone happy, I think. That'll be 100 drink at any one time. Uh, that's probably enough, I imagine. Um, I mean, ideally, we would like them to have lots, hundreds and hundreds of drink. But again, you know, that is just going to encourage terrible mant raids, and we don't want to have to deal with that. So, next thing we want to build workshops. We want another kitchen, really, and this one will be for making. Oh, we're going to need another table. Okay kitchen 
here is going to be for sandwiches. I would like a table. A pine table, of course. And so we're going to need four pine planks and uh, four pine sticks. We've only got three at the moment. So keep one pine table around at any time. Now whilst they're doing that, I'm going to have a look at what we're going to want next. Uh, it's probably going to be the butcher shop. It's going to take a table chair and a knife. Okay, well, that's fine then. Um, we'll wait for that one. I won't start... I won't build that one just yet. Now, um, this, this storage area in here, whereas previously that's basically been storing all of our random stuff. I'm thinking I would like this to just be purely for storing furniture, honestly. Furniture never really gets stored in crates or barrels or anything like that, so how about we make this a furniture stockpile? And it can just store all of our table chairs, beds, four posts of statues, all that kind of nice stuff, doors, pillars, dresses and cabinets. That would be really nice, I think. Apparently, dresses and cabinets have no type, so it's either a dresser or a cabinet. It's not an apple or a birch or a pine. Maybe that's just because I haven't made any yet. But that'll be a priority five, so if they're not busy stocking up one of these places with their with the correct uh, materials they need, they'll be running around doing that. So at the same time, I'm going to drop the, the priority on this one down to an uh, we're going to make this an 8. That should be good. Now, the next thing we're going to want is for you guys to stand down. Go uh, chill out. You've done good. Same for you. Go chill out. Equip yourselves if you can. I'd like it if you could all get uh, bronze, but I'm not sure there is enough bronze. Now the thing that I've noticed with the military is they'll they'll wear themselves out. If they're on patrol, if they're on guard duty or something, they will literally stand there until they're almost dead, you know, falling over from thirst, and then they'll go and deal with it. But otherwise, they'll uh, just chill out. Uh, sorry, not chill out. They'll just be really hyper and just working there constantly. So it's kind of good to take them off duty because that seems to be the only time they'll go and re-equip themselves if they can. Now, I don't know what type of gear you've got in here. Have we got any bronze? Got bronze brass plates. I don't think we've got any bronze. No, we don't seem to have any bronze uh, helmets, unfortunately. What about you? Sword, bronze weapons. It looks like they're equipping themselves with the best gear that they can find, and I'm, that's cool. That's what we need them to do, really. Now, once I've got things a bit more under control, and uh, things aren't going crazy all over the place, then... Oh, there's a bear out there. Then I'm probably going to actually assign my civilian population to a militia with the militia perk and they'll just hang out then oh wow what just went on there why is that thing just exploded with stuff to be put over there it's crazy there's a load of people assigned to work here oh it's probably crossbow bolts ah uh, yeah of course that makes sense yeah there's a pile of bolts, that's fine. You can carry on doing that. Now, let's get look down here. Still waiting on this one to be built. That's not great. I'd like that built soon, please. But on the whole, things are going okay and people are starting to sort stuff out. So, what will most likely happen is, as I did with the, the last episode, now that we're out of the, the panic zone, um, at the end of this one, I'll probably pick which industry I'm going to start working on next and set up the stockpile orders for that. And then the next time you join me, uh, I'll have 
I'll have something very similar to this going on with crates ready to be constructed, that sort of thing. I'm probably going to build each workshop with you on screen just so that you can see what the differences are with the workshops because some of them require new tools, some don't, but uh, quite a lot seem to. Um, now, one thing I am noticing is we don't have many people. Where are we? We've got two, wood, two carpenters, two wood carvers. Perhaps we could do with more. Perhaps we could do with more masons. Honestly, maybe these two nomads should be given the woodsmith and the stonesmith jobs. I mean, I could. Well, we've got one pet rock salesman, so he's already doing some of that. But actually, yeah, you you can continue doing that, and I'm just going to give the pet rock salesman role some more work to do. What do you do at the moment? Well, actually, having said that, it might actually be pretty cool to have a dedicated stone carver just so that we can get some of the uh, statuettes made in pet rocks. Yeah, okay. Let's set up a pet rock order. I want, at any one time, at least um... Let's say 30 pet rocks. That should be enough to trade with anyone. And on that note, we really should build a trade, a market store. Damn. I wonder what that's going to take. Have a look. Where are you? Market store. Three tables and one chair. No, oh, that's fine. I am more than happy to do that. Let's go do it now. And we are going to build it over here. That is a market store? Yeah. No. Hmm. I don't think I've built the right thing. Let's try that again. Market store. Three tables, one chair. Oh, okay. Must be. It just didn't uh, tell me what it was properly. That's fine. Yes, in regards to this... Um, I could perhaps have some different shaped things. Yeah, let's let's consider doing that then. I could perhaps have like a long rancher house, and this could also be a farmer house, perhaps, or maybe even lumberjacks. I could make a large house with multiple bedrooms, and then have the yak pasture over here, and slide this up from the wall, and have the emu pasture over there. So. Yeah, I actually quite like that idea. We'd have the houses, the the rooms, sorry, the living quarters for the people who work outdoors. Going on by there. I'll probably chop down some of my applewood forest there and make it into like three equal sized groves for now. As I said, later on we'll look at uh, expanding a bit. But that would work for now. And then I could have some farms over here. Because I do want to turn this part into a military camp. Like a proper stone gate house. With the like the training ground at the bottom. And then the, like, uh, the military gnomes rooms at the top. I think that would look pretty cool. Right, so let's go down here. Have you not built that yet? How frustrating. Where are you taking all the meat? Oh no! My phone! It'd be running out of battery. Don't die, phone. I need you for the stopwatch. Hopefully, I've still got the charger plugged in. Now that would be quite bad of me if I have, because it hasn't been doing anything for a while. But, uh, well, we're about to see. Are you going to beep at me when I plug this in or not? Aha! Success! Stopwatch is still working. Okay. I will fix that before the next episode as well. Right, we can afford to speed things up, I think. I do need to keep an eye on that, get that working a little bit more often, honestly. 
Now, people are running around picking things up. Are you going to eat it in here? Oh, yeah, you are. Awesome. I wasn't sure if you, uh, the gnomes actually did that or not. But more stuff is being hauled up here. That's good. We've got some goblins out and about. Um, in fact, silvery lurkers of battle. Chop, chop. Get to it. Hopefully after equipping yourselves. We've got another ogre outside. I'm not going to open the fort up until just before the uh, merchant arrives. Right, you're dead. You've been given a death sentence by Toz. You've been sentenced to a long and excruciating death. Well, actually, it might be quite a swift one, depending on how many arrows he hit you with. But we need more things about it. It looks like you're working on crates at the moment. Ah, that's probably what it is. Crates are above barrels or tables. Damn. Okay, we want to move tables up. Now, crates, we're just going to have loads of those, but the tables we definitely need sooner. So, wow, look at all that meat being carted off. Why is that happening? Is this not a higher priority? What are you full of? Full of bones. No! The bone stockpile. How frustrating. Oh well. At least it's getting taken somewhere. Could be worse, I suppose. Well, let's zoom out and just check out what's going on. Have two goblins died out here? That'd be awesome if they had. But I don't think they have. Unfortunately. No, it doesn't look like it. But, whilst that's going on, let's sort out this stairs. It's been a while since I've done any uh, cosmetic stuff. Let's start getting the fort back in order. Looks like uh, the worst is behind us now. So we can probably afford to do a few things like this now and then. Though I'm, I'm going to try and not give them too many uh, building jobs because it takes people away from actually building the stuff I really want built but uh, if they can get that done then I can just dis uh, destroy the stairs and otherwise pull this whole place down now I think we probably have enough wheat in the fort to last us through several years Let's just check on this. Am I correct? Grains. Oh, no, we're not. Oh. Oh, now that is quite interesting. What about food, then? We've got an enormous amount of fruit, but not of the other things. Ah, okay. Fair enough. My assumption was incorrect. So... Hmm. We'll leave this here then for now. And. Ah, oh, damn. Right, what am I going to do with this then? Um, right, I'm going to restore this pasture for now. Uh, uh, sorry, not pasture. I'm going to restore the farm for now. Oh, I can't. It appears that it wants pristine ground for a new farm. Fine. We'll make a small one here. We'll make it a wheat farm. Go ahead, just start gathering wheat. And in the meantime, uh, forage all of this wheat up. Chop, chop. Well, it was good that I checked that, because I assumed we still had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of wheat laying around the fort, but apparently no. So, very good that we checked on that one. Take ramp down. There and there. And there. Now our farmers should get to this fairly quickly, I would have imagined. But it doesn't look like they are. Ah, there we are. Okay, cool. Now I'm not sure how many farmers we have. Let's just check on that. Because I have tended to take people away from farming whenever I've needed something else. Got two farmers. Uh, 
that'll do actually because those farmers aren't doing anything else it used to be that they would split their work up between all of the other jobs but these days that that's the only thing they're going to work on so that's acceptable i think yeah more things being brought in that's good more doors are being built that's fantastic so things are going all right but i really would like that other kitchen to be built soon are you making a table for me i'd be very pleased if you were no, you made another crate. Damn you! Why? I want another table. Does this require two? I don't know. Craziness, why? Why do you do this? We're okay, with this crate here at least we're going to get a bunch of fruit brought down. So it'll be in the right place, at least. Small mercies. Right, there's a... Oh my lord, look at all that meat just sat there. Thank goodness that unlike Dwarf Fortress, that stuff is not perishable. Otherwise, that would be awful. All that food just going to waste. Why have you got stones there? You're making some sort of weird gnomish confection. Stone cakes. But right, it looks like it has come up to the 30 minute mark. Our gnomes are slowly getting things in order. But uh, in the next episode, it looks like we are going to be still waiting on two butchers and a bone carver. But whilst we're waiting on that, I may go ahead and set up the stockpiles for our tailor, uh, sorry, our loom, tailor, and leather worker. Having them close here, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and mine through this wall. Um, yeah, I think it would be wise to have cancel job, cancel job, cancel job. No. Uh, actually, on second thoughts, I don't think that would actually help because it, they're not having to travel that far, really. Well, actually, no. No, look, thinking about it, they are traveling quite a ways just to get it up to the leatherwork. So I'm going to make an, another door there for them. That should help out, and we've got more goblins. Of course. But that isn't a problem and that ogre has died. Awesome. Right. So we're going to leave you on that note. With these guys just showing up to the party. A dual wielding goblin with a bronze breastplate for the looks of it. And an axe and a hammer. Joy. But it's still good that they're standing copper. It means our kingdom worth is not too bad. It's still in under... Uh, 50k and that, that's pretty pretty useful for us it means we're not going to be having the worst things coming at us yet We can see that these workshops are working. I didn't realize you could do this. This is awesome That's pretty cool Farms, batches, rooms. Yeah, that's, well, that's awesome actually But yes in the next episode then we are going to probably deal with you guys some way or another build out the rest of our food industry so that's a bone carver and two butchers and then we'll look at getting the tailors up so we got bandage production going again that's quite important in fact that's more important than the bone carver so i'll just get one butcher and then i'll start work on this but by then i will also have the stockpile set up correctly so i hope you've enjoyed this episode i hope you'll join me for the next but until then do take care.